What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily Rewind is where we go back a week and give you all of your tech news from the past seven days in one single video. Now, this video is being released a day later, but it's because we had ended up going to Universal Studios and we got home really late and I was exhausted, so I pushed out a different video instead yesterday. So this recap video, instead of coming out on a Monday, is coming out on a Tuesday, but it was a really, really great week of tech news. And if you missed any of it or all of it, you're definitely going to watch this because we went through information about the new Pixel Fold, some new t details that were leaked on that. We talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 and some official video releases that have come up from Samsung and some details we noticed about those. Galaxy Buds 2 pricing being very expensive and so much more. So enjoy this week and we'll see you in the next one. It's kind of... This one might hurt a bit. It's all about the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4 because there's some information coming out of Europe that, get this, is potentially going to be a price increase, not a price decrease, but a price increase. And this article was found out by Gizpaw, and I'll link it down below if you wanna read the article in its entirety, but it shows Galaxy Z Flip and Fold 4 prices being about $50 more. So it seems like there could be a price increase on the Z Flip 4, uh, Z Fold 4, I should say, 256 and 512 by anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks. So if we paid $17.99 last year for the Fold 4 for the 256, it might be $18.49, and the 512 might be $18.99. Now those prices, uh, or actually $19.49 from there. So you're looking at price increases, which is, oh, this one hurts because it's only 50, or 50 bucks isn't a lot. 100 bucks isn't even that bad, I guess, at the, it, when you grand scheme this thing, of showing you know that the price is so expensive anyway. Where it hurts is that, you know, there is some upgrades in this phone, but money's tight, guys. Money is really, really tight all over the world. Everything is skyrocketing in prices. Like, you talk about inflation being about 8%, I think that's what the government says or whoever says. But then you go to the grocery store and you know a $2.50 bag of chips is now five bucks. Now, a phone, obviously it's not doubling it up in price there, but it all adds up, guys, all this stuff. So is this gonna push people away from getting the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 if prices are increased for both versions, 50 to 100 bucks? It's definitely a turnoff, you know, especially when they didn't upgrade the charging, supposedly. Um, you know, the battery is basically the same size. There's things that are, aren't fully upgraded and then there's things that are. The processors are a little bit better with better optimization with battery and then you've got the better cameras and better durability and brighter display and things like that. So it's a little bit of give and take on there. But what the day is about a bunch of good Pixel phone stuff. We're talking about a new Pixel phone and a foldable Pixel phone as well. There's some details coming out on both, so let's dive into the meat right here. Very exciting stuff. Now, this information was found out by Kuba, and he goes into detail about how he found it. Basically, this information wasn't trivial. Google hasn't obfuscated, did I say that right? All the sensors' names in their code. So basically, he's getting all this stuff from code. So let's dive right in. First of all, now, he talks about current Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pros, but let's talk about a new unreleased device that's potentially a high-end third phone that they'd be releasing in 2022, where the main shooter is familiar, GN1. However, that's where that ends. A secondary lens, a Sony IMX787 of unknown purpose, probably a telephoto camera. This is a first for Google to actually use older sensors. Also, the front sensor is also new. Apparently, a 13 megapixel camera. His theory is that Lynx is some sort of internal device for Google to evaluate, evaluate new camera sensors. However, they might still surprise us either way we still probably find out soon enough. So basically, what he's saying about this one is that it's probably not a device that comes out. It's probably more of an internal testing device, but you never know. Maybe we'll actually see a brand new device on that. And then the other big one, the one I'm more excited about, he's saying lastly, P7, an unknown foldable, likely codenamed Pipit or Passport, while the exact Positional setup is unknown, he's talking about in terms of the camera. There is a list of sensors, a standard Gen 1 for the main sensor, IMX363, 386, 
uh, which is the Pixel 6 is ultra wide, listed as folded and IMX355. The same would be, it would be the same as the Pixel's front camera. So what we're hearing there on the foldable, if you like read between the lines is, it sounds like their foldable device, which if it comes out, seems like it's gonna come out in probably 2023, is gonna use a mixture of cameras mostly from the Pixel 6 devices. We were hearing it's gonna use Pixel 5 cameras. Now it seemed like it kinda of upgraded itself into the Pixel 6 line, which I love the Pixel 6 cameras. Amazing, amazing cameras, especially for still photos. So that sounded like some really, really good news in terms of the next Pixel Fold that eventually comes out most likely in 2023. Here's a look at that purple colored device from the Galaxy S22 that we've been talking about, the Bora Purple. Max Jamber got some hands-on time and was able to snap a bunch of photos of it. And he shows it off in all of its glory, showing the beautiful, beautiful purple color. And then Anthony Galax actually compared it next to the violet. So you've got on the left the Bora Purple and then on the right the violet and the Left, you can see that Bora Purple is just a little bit more richer, which I think I appreciate a little bit more on there. Let me know in the comments down below which color you like, Bora Purple or Violet. Next up is about the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it doesn't look like they're gonna be upgrading one of the cameras, at least one of the cameras on there, or if they do, it's gonna be a very minimal upgrade. This is the latest coming out of Galaxy Club. Galaxy Club is saying that the S23 Ultra will be sticking to a 10 megapixel 10X telephoto camera so if you are a big telephoto fan it looks like if they upgrade it's probably going to be more software based upgrades rather than hardware based because that's the same potentially the same lens and sensor that they use on the s22 ultra 10x and 10 megapixel telephoto so they might be trying to keep their costs down for the S23 Ultra when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, you might see the same cameras across the board again for, for that in order to keep costs down, maybe costs continue to rise for them. Your story of the day is if you're a BTS fan, Samsung and BTS are still in love, or I, I forget how you, they do their little sign BTS. I, I'm doing it wrong, but they are still working together. Why do I know this? Because Samsung has put out a tweet saying this, that they are ready for what's about to come. Something great is on the way. Stay tuned to unfold your world. And ultimately, it looks like Samsung and BTS will partner for an unmissable transatlantic premiere of yet to come. I think that's one of their songs. Foldable video on August 10th. We have so much in store for you, not to mention some amazing new products to show you, so stay tuned, it's going to be one to remember. So again, BTS, Samsung working together. Now, is it just a music video? I would guess it is. It would be really cool to see, see some kind of partnership again between the two and uh, you know to release a, a specific phone or earbuds or something with that kind of branding and coloring that BTS uses because they use a lot of purples in there. Uh, BTS, biggest band probably in the world right now, boy band, whatever you want to call them, Korean. They're Korean boy band, uh, but they're huge all over the world. I actually just saw an orchestra thing. My wife loves them, and we went to this orchestra thing here in San Diego. Um, BTS didn't play, but they played BTS songs, a four-piece uh, wind, not wind whatever you call it, violin and cello thing. So yeah, there was that. Next up, as you can see from the headline, Segyung High Tech Exclusive Supplier of Films for the Samsung Foldables again. So on the Z Flip 4 and Fold 4, they will be using the same company that they've used for their screen protectors, little film screen protectors. You'll have the same screen protector and it'll be the same one you peel off, or at least I know I'll probably will peel it off. A lot of you guys will keep one on. You think it's must needed, that it's gonna save your phone from everything. Uh, but yeah, so screen protectors are gonna be the same company they've used since the origin, origin of the Z Fold and Flip lines. Next up is an unpacked trailer from Samsung, so it's official. And what I did with this video before I even start to play it is what I did is I lightened it up because they have everything so dark and I made it, it's still the same colors. I just made everything kind of brighter so it stands out a little bit. And there's a couple of things that you're gonna see when this video plays. Two things in particular, and, and I, I, I saw this from Anthony the Galox. He tweeted it out and I looked for it, he's like, you know what, nobody's right. So basically the two things are, one is it has a really flat, and they even say this, it's flat meaning that the body, the frame of the phone seems more flatter. Um, so it'll be less rounded in terms of like the, the metal parts, the you know, all this stuff that stands around. So it's gonna feel flatter, I guess, overall as a phone. The other big piece is the crease. You don't really see the crease on the Fold 4 on there. You know, because when I do it, you can see a little, little crease right there. 
but in the video you don't really see it and obviously I think there's still gonna be a crease but maybe it's a little bit more hidden a lot better who knows I guess we'll have to wait and see or maybe they just did some really good video editing which is probably the case with that but still very interesting to see them kind of hide that crease on there on the Z Fold 4 and if you want to watch a video and it's normal coloring uh, I'll link it down below if you want to check that out your question of the day is Z Fold 4 what do you think about it so far the things we're hearing you think it's a disappointment do you think it's headed in the right direction let me know your thoughts in the comments down below with that said let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question from Goon Squad, Have your, has your v Vivo X Fold had any updates lately? If so, what was the update? I don't know, I, didn't, I don't remember what the exact update is, but yeah, it's had like, I wanna say like four updates since I've received it. So yeah, it's been getting updates. And the last question from LA Latino, do they recognize you as Greggles TV? I don't know who's they. If you mean people, fans, I never get recognized in public. Like one time I did, someone texted me, he's like, hey, I saw you at Target. I was like, should have said something. He's like, I didn't want to bother you. You're with your family. That would have been cool. No one, but no one ever recognizes me in public. Um, the only time I ever get recognized is at like a Samsung event. They'll be like, I don't, I don't remember what they call me. I think they just call me Greg. But no, I mean, people just call me Greg. Uh, my wife calls me Greggles sometimes. If she's mad at me, she calls me Greg. Everyone else usually just calls me Greg. Some people will just call me Greggles, like friends of ours that know me they'll call me greggles but usually greg mostly just greg but you can call me whatever you want if you want as long as it's a nice word thank you so much guys if you have a question leave it in the comments down below the first word being question have a great day we'll see you down the road peace What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two news stories for you and two questions and I'll see you in two and two. First story of the day is all about Samsung's new refresh rate screen. It's not going to probably be on any phones this year but maybe in the future, and it's actually pretty cool. As you know, Samsung screens are generally 120 hertz on the display, and they have a LTPO screen, which will means what it, what it does is it tones down that refresh rate, maybe down to like one hertz, when it's not really doing anything, when the, when the screen is just static, and it won't go up to 120 hertz, allowing you to save battery life. Well, they're coming up with a new technology that Galaxy Club has found out where they have patented a display simultaneously using different refresh rates in different display areas for improved energy efficiency. And it sounds just like it is. So you could have a full display and it might show 120 hertz here and then down the rest of the half of the screen, maybe it's one hertz and vice versa so that you're not, because maybe you don't need 120 hertz all throughout the display. This will give you better battery life and let you use your phone more throughout the day so that you can talk to your friends even less. Next up are about the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. Now we've spoken about the price potentially being $229.99 or 230 bucks. And it looks like somebody else is locking in the price at that. It looks like nine to five Google is saying the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro per their source will be 230 bucks. And when I think about that, that's not an attractive price. Mentally, it's not. And in your wallet, it's not. You know, you like to see 199 or 200 bucks, 150, 100 bucks. 229 versus 199, that doesn't sound as good, doesn't look as good. And I think, and I feel my bones, that they're not gonna sell as many as they did in the previous generation. Now, will we ever find that out? Potentially not. But it also goes in line with, you know, 230 bucks, unless you get them completely free with your, your pre-ordered phone, okay, maybe you're like, okay, cool, I'll do it. And also, will they have discounts on these? Yeah, for sure they will. They'll have discounts on these probably a lot, and they probably will be under 200 bucks. But when you see 230, if that's the price you're gonna pay, I think it's gonna turn people off. I know AirPods Pro are more expensive, but generally, especially now, you can get AirPods Pro for under 200 bucks. So I think they have a tough road to sell with these unless they're completely mind blowing and they're also going up against the new Pixel Buds Pro, which I believe I get those today's 28th. 
I think I get those today. I will try to get a video out tomorrow about those and let you know what I think about them. Or if I get them the, tomorrow, I'll give you the video the next day. But regardless, I will have a video on those and I'll compare those against the Galaxy Buds Pro, the first generation, and let you know which ones I think sound, feel, and features are better. But so far, 230 bucks, if that stands out to be the price, which is looking like it's going to be, is I think unattractive. But that will so my official images did get leaked out about the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which I'm not gonna show you. Um, you can look at it and link down below at 91 Mobile's website. But again, I just wanna reiterate how much smaller the hinge is, it's skinnier, and you can see it less on here, and it just looks so good. It looks so lightweight and nimble and just better in a sexier kind of way, and I'm really, really stoked about it. I think it's gonna make people a lot happier about the, you know, the feel of this device in your hand. I know I'm super looking forward to it. I think once we get the Fold 4, people that have had the Fold 1, 2, and 3 are gonna be like, whoa, those phones were so clunky compared to the Fold 4. I think that's gonna be the big, big takeaway from the Fold 3 to the Fold 4, or the Fold 2 to Fold 4, whatever phone you have, is just, it feels a lot less clunky. And I think that's gonna be a big, big selling point beyond the other things that are going to be upgraded about the Z Fold 4 over the previous generation. Next up is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 Slim standing cover case. This might be the case that I have to get. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like it gives you some protection, but then it does some cool stuff, especially with having a pop socket, because I like to keep my pop socket on and not have to block things on the case. And it looks like the pop socket's gonna work perfect on this case. Check this out. So this, again, is their standing cover case, and it looks like it's gonna retail for about 40 bucks, somewhere in that range, 40 to 50 bucks. And what it does is obviously protects your phone. It also protects the hinge. I know a lot of people are looking for hinge protection on their case. It's thin, so meaning it's not going to add a lot of weight, not a lot of bulk, which is great. But then it stands up for you as well. And I like this thing because I like to stand my phone up sometimes. I can do it with my pop socket, but this is a, a bigger, taller angle to be able to do it at. This is great. And I'll be able to keep my pop socket on. So this might be the case I end up getting using some of that, uh, that money that I'm going to be getting from my pre-order to use on that. So pretty stoked about being able to get a cool looking case, that standing cover case for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And obviously I will cover other cases as well, so I don't think I don't think this would be the only case that's gonna be great. Uh, this is just one of the cases. I love the kickstand built in and then being lightweight and all that other stuff. Let me know. First story of the day has to do with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and a feature it will not have again. And I don't know if this is probably a big deal. I'll be personal, I never, ever, ever use it on my phones, not even, on any of my Galaxy phones. Um, but it's not gonna be here again for the Galaxy Z Flip 4, and that is, and this is coming from Tech Talk TV, he's saying that the Z Flip 4 won't have DeX. Now, DeX is that desktop operating, desktop operating system that you can use with your phone or your tablet. It's cool with the tablets because it's built right into it and you don't have to use really anything extra. And it gives you this desktop operating environment. But on phones, you have to connect it to what, like a monitor, and then you might wanna, probably would want to, connect also a mouse and a keyboard as well to your phone so that you can see it on this monitor and use it a little bit easier. But it's not gonna be on the Z Flip 4 again. I don't think it's a huge deal. I, for me, I personally never use it on my phone. I think it's kind of wasteful. I wish Samsung would come out with an official dock. I know there are third-party docks that you can get, but Samsung should really come out with their own dock where you would place your phone inside of the device and your device turns into this little laptop that you can use. I think they would sell a lot of those. I think people would be pretty stoked about that, but at the same time, they probably wouldn't buy the Samsung laptops. But what do you guys think? Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 not having Dex. And our last story of the day really isn't much of a story. It's more of me just saying this, and I'm not gonna show it. If you wanna find these photos, all you gotta do is go on Twitter or Google and just type in Galaxy Z Fold 4 white or whatever color they, they, they're they calling it. But I'm gonna call it oatmeal. It's called beige, beige or white. But basically the Galaxy Z Fold 4, that's the color I'm getting. I've made a final decision after seeing multiple photos of this thing. I'm going to get the Galaxy Z Fold 4 in beige oatmeal. I like call, let's call it oatmeal. It looks like oatmeal to me. And I, it, cause it looks a little bit gold, looks a bit white, a little bit beige, a little bit oatmeal, but mostly oatmeal. It looks fantastic. And it's definitely the one that I'm going to get for sure. Unless it's like, hey, these are already sold out or you're not gonna get this for months. 
then okay, I won't get it. Or if it's limited to like 128 gigs or something, or you know, something, something just off about it. If it doesn't come in 256 and it's gonna be late, let's say that much, I won't get it. But otherwise, this is the one I'm definitely planning on getting. And this information comes from Reddit. I saw this on Reddit and it's a post coming from a person that works at a carrier store, like for instance, I don't know if he works at this store, but he works for like AT&T, a Samsung rep came in with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 prototype, spoke about the phone, what that phone had and what the Fold 4 will have. Most of the stuff we know, but it's kind of cool if this, you know, ends up coming out. So let's just talk about what exactly we heard. And it's coming from I won't even read the name, but uh, you can imagine <laughs> what it sounds like. Just got my hands on a prototype Flip 4 for a few hours. Like the title says, I work for a carrier and my Samsung guy came in today for a few hours. Got to play around for a few hours. He likes to work a few hours with my prototype Flip Fold 4. Phone basically looks the same. Cameras do stick out more and the edges are definitely shiny like an iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. He told us the phone uh, will come up with up to 512 gigabytes of storage, which is what we heard and what a lot of people want. And it does come with an eight plus processor, meaning it's gonna come with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 plus processor, which I find good news. Was told that pre-ordering the phone will get you the same promotion as the S22 of paying for the lower, lower storage amount, but getting a bump to the storage above the picked one. And I've said that, I said, I bet you you know, that when you pre-order this phone, you're gonna be able to get the extra storage for free or use your credits towards that. And it seems like that is what's going to happen. Also was told the Watch 5 will come with in a pro model. So he's saying the Watch 5, there'll be a pro model, which we've heard, with way longer battery life than we are used to, not giving it a specific SOC, but we should expect it to last longer. And it comes with an always-on GPS like a Garmin. So you'll have always on GPS like a garment, I guess he already said it. Also the Buds Pro, he's talking about the Buds 2 Pro, uh, will support 24-bit audio, which we have heard, which is a higher quality audio bit rate. Not an audio file, so don't really know much about that. He goes on to continue saying in another comment that, let me find it. He said also there will be a one terabyte Fold 4, again, which we've heard and keeps going back and forth. We've seen people showing off prices and stuff, but they haven't showed the one terabyte. He's saying that it will be. And if you works at a carrier store, you would think that the one terabyte's gonna be at the carrier store as well. That's a big takeaway, I think, from that. We were also told about $29 screen repairs on the Z Fold 4. That's huge, especially if you don't have to get any insurance with the phone and it only costs 29 bucks for screen repairs. Again, that's gonna be absolutely massive. But I don't know much more than that and he didn't explain more and of course, no SD card slot uh, and space zoom on the Fold 4 almost forgot. So we've heard that, heard that too, that the Fold 4 is gonna have updated cameras and that the cameras, he's saying in even more of the stuff if you read more through the thread, that it's gonna have cameras more like the S22 Ultra, but from what we're seeing megapixel wise, it's gonna be more like the S22, S22 Plus. He also said space zoom, space zoom. Now, you might think space zoom, it's gonna have 100X, but space zoom is also considered at 30X, and that's really what it's supposed to have is 30X, but that obviously could, could change with any of that stuff. So very cool stuff that we heard from it. A lot of it stuff, basically we already knew, but you know, and what it is, maybe he's making all this stuff up, but regardless, it's still, exciting I love the anticipation of everything and uh, my question to you is out of everything we talked about today what's the thing that's most exciting to you about that fold for or what seems the most interesting the most intriguing let me know in the comments down below again no question today in terms of me answering for you have a great day and we'll see you down the road peace